Um, I've kind of mentioned this before, but I want to talk about minimalist tools for landscape design going outside. So I am using my brother LX3014 sewing machine, which is the most modern machine I have, to make um, face masks. And I actually have um, a request for anybody who feels like donating face masks, but I'll, I'll tell you that in a minute. I am using the Brother because it's the easiest one to clean. Um, and I'm a little bit heartbroken, um, not only over wanting to use a Model 20 for landscape tags, um, but my 237 is set up for hand crank embroidery. Um, I also have a white that I wanted to really work on with hand crank embroidery. But every time I say, you know what, I can do this anyway, something stops me, and it's the pandemic that's really stopping me. <clears throat> so anyway, face masks. The town of Yarmouth um, has put out a code red phone call about two weeks ago requesting that anybody that sews and can make masks, please donate them to the town. Um, that's That was after I was already making them for the Veteran Center and um, the supermarket that's delivering. We're, we're still in um, stay-at-home orders, and that's not going to change anytime soon. Um, it's been extended at least through May 18th. Um, but anyway, the town needs face masks. And so I donated some, and then I thought I'd check with them again to see how that was going. And they did get, um, they have a few people sewing. Cape Cod is a hugely um, proportionate elderly community. There aren't a lot of people sewing. Um, if any of you are making masks and feel like sending some to the town of Yarmouth, they're going to, um, we have a lot of, <clears throat> elderly homebound. Um, they're going to um, any of the town employees. They're going to any resident in the town that um, doesn't sew or doesn't know how to get one. Um, and they're going to our uh, essential workers and first responders. Um, we can't get them. We can't buy them. I don't know what the problem is. The governor sent the police some face masks, but they only get five for a month. Um, so if you feel like helping out the town of Yarmouth, we would appreciate it. And what you need to do is contact um, the health administrator, Bruce Murphy, and I will put the website um, link with his contact information on there. You just email him and say, I've got masks for you. Where do you want me to send them? Um, and then he'll tell you what to do. So the brother is being used by um, making face masks, and some of my fabric has gone to face masks instead of the quilts that I had planned. And um, there's a little bit of friction going on with me because um, it's not resentment. I don't mind making the, the face mask at all. It's just a change in, in plans. And um, so obviously I've been cutting up the fabric and making the face mask. So like I said, it's not resentment. It's just, but wait a minute, how do I compensate for the quilts I was going to make? And I think my resource has become landscape design. And I'm trying to do everything uh, as cleanly as I'm doing by using the brother. So the Model 20 is going to have to stay in its box for a while. This is a, um, a as-seen-on-TV handy stitch. They happen to be the ones that I prefer because they take the shorter um, needle, which is 24x1, and you get a little bit more clearance in them. They are a little bit iffy on the switch sometimes. Um, sorry about the camera moving. And... You can always use one of these, the Sun brand manual that doesn't take batteries. But here's a hanky. <clears throat> I, would, I have pages cut out. Um, you know, this is my garden size, and yet I can reduce it to this. 
by using handy stitch and this I can measure this um, I can put the whole garden plan right on this size fabric rows and the only thing is labeling and I can just use a pencil and let's say I do in an orange row right here I just use a pencil and write pumpkins I do a maroon row beets so and that can obviously go in the garden the other advantage is um, <clears throat> I have um, I have five or six bottom boxes that are all different colors and um, so you, all you have to do is change the bobbin and you change the color or the plant that you're putting in. So it's very easy to do and I keep all of those bobbin boxes in one of the Dick Blick storage boxes. So um, there are multiple colors of thread to do a garden plan um, either with a manual handheld stitcher or a handy stitch or a singer stitch so quick. That's the other one that's good. Um, this is four inches wide by eight inches long. And I'm doing them this size. Now guess what this is? This is a hanky, a regular old hanky, um, folded I think four times. And I can either, when I cut this, I can either keep it two layers and get four of them out of each hanky or I can keep it one layer and um, get eight of them out of each hanky. So look at how simple that is. A handheld stitcher, a couple of bottom boxes, and a hanky folded up into eight. And then I have, this is representing the dirt under there. And actually it's quite thick because I want that much topsoil. But that's my own thinking. Um, but anyway, so with a handheld stitcher, you can lay out your whole garden plan. On um, some of them might get the manual ones might um, have a one layer of a hanky get stuck in the feed dog, um, but two layers shouldn't be a problem. So out of every hanky, you can get four pages. And hankies are fairly inexpensive; they're still fairly easy to find. And you can use muslin instead of a hanky if, you know, a yard of muslin is on sale now, uh, 36 inches wide. It's on sale at joanne.com for 209 a yard. So you can get um, maybe about 14 or 15 of these out of a yard that's 36 inches wide. So there's there's your paper for two dollars or three dollars plus shipping if you have to do it shipping. Um, even at regular price, it's five dollars a yard. So um, that gives you a lot of pages for five dollars, and then thread and a handheld stitcher, and these are your garden plans. And I can still um, in my computer, I'm going to have a six by ten main plan, and then these do end up being my sketches or designs for each type of garden. So um, even though this is four by eight, um, it'll really work up in the yard to six by ten. One can be an herb garden. One can be a culinary herb garden only. Then you can have one like mine, which is a pumpkin patch. Um, you can also make a cactus garden. And you can put rectangles like this all over your yard. So anybody can do this. And you can do it with a pencil, a handy stitch, um, some different colors of thread, and some ideas about what you want to plant and where. So I will put in the information section the uh, Dick Blick art storage box again, because that's a great box. It's $15. It's a great box to keep a whole set of this in. Um, and I will put the link for um, Bruce Murphy is, he's not the health inspector, I think he's the health administrator, but he's the one who you contact if you can donate masks to the town of Yarmouth, Massachusetts on beautiful Cape Cod.